Oh, he spit it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Oh, God, I thought he spit it. I'm out here fishing. You guys are never going to believe what I found. I kept hearing this noise behind me. It's out of this hole. Oh, oh, God. Got it. Sucker. Hey, yo, what's up, Yak Squad? Today, we're going to be shark fishing from the beach. Super excited to make this video. Super excited to get out here on the beach right there and, uh, and do this. Uh, I've been wanting to do this actually for quite some time. Now, I don't know why I just walk to this side of my truck. I don't even need to be over here. My rain jacket's over here because it's about to start pouring down rain. Like I was saying, what we're going to do is a little bit of shark fishing this morning. We're waiting on Colin and his dad to get here. Uh, we came and did this last year, but we, we hooked one shark. They were all over. They were literally all over the beach. Uh, well, the sharks weren't on the beach. That doesn't make any sense. But the sharks were in the water at the beach, and uh, a lot of the bluefish were there too. And we were absolutely smoking them, but I did not have the gear to uh, be out here trying to catch little black tips or spinner sharks or whatever. What I had was a, uh, I, I had a bait caster. I didn't have a saltwater fishing combo yet. Anyways, another thing I wanted to uh, mention to you guys really quick, have has any of my older audience ever uh, quit smoking or quit dipping or quit drinking or anything like that? You Have you ever quit doing something, uh, we'll call it what it is, negative? Uh, about six years ago, I quit smoking cold turkey, put them fangs down and I ain't never picked them back up. That was very easy for me to do. But uh, it's actually been about one week since I've had a dip. I used to dip uh, grizzly wintergreen pouch. I say I used to dip like it's been so long. <laughs> grizzly wintergreen pouches is what I used to chew or dip, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's been about a week since I have one. So I did the math on it, right? And if, you, like, if you're a dipper or a smoker or whatever, uh, at least down here in Florida, can, a can of grizzly wintergreen pouches was like $6.80 a can. So if you do the math at like a can a day like I was doing, that's like $2,200 roughly a year that I could save by not dipping. So uh, I made it a week. Moral to that story is uh, don't ever think something is too hard or too co like complicated or just not doable. Uh, I always told myself it would be the hardest thing I've ever done in my life was would be to quit dipping but I've made it through this first week. I think I think they say like three weeks or something like that and you've completely broke the old habit. But uh, I've, I've made it this far, I'm not gonna turn back now. I'm gonna save that money and uh, get healthy. Stay healthy for my babies back at home, my kids, my little youngsters, uh, the little yak squatters. But uh, anyways, we're gonna get this GoPro fired up and uh, we're gonna get on the water and get to fishing because I'm excited. Hopefully today is the day that we can catch a shark. Let's go fish. Let's go see how cold the water is. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Okay. It's almost go time. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood today. We got the 14,000 out here right now. Got the sharks sitting right out there. I think we can do it. Oh, that was quick. Is he on? Oh. oh. Damn, first bite. Well, so far we've had one bite. I just got out my first uh, cut bait. And, uh, now we're gonna see if we can get the old shark to uh, come and play. Uh-oh, we're hooked up. We're gonna go see what's up. Colin's hooked up. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, a jack. On top water. Hell yeah, I bet that was fun. As soon as it hit the water, he ate it. It's a good size jack. Yo, let me try to catch a jack with that thing. That's dope. That'd be the biggest jack I ever caught. Well, we've got our live bait rigs out there. We're going to see if we can catch a jack real quick. Well, we're not getting bit on the Bonita right here. So, Colin, this jack he caught earlier, we're going to try to uh, match the hatch, basically. Maybe, just maybe, this is what the sharks want to eat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day two of this shark fishing extravaganza. We have... We have five rods. Five, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six rods set up. Day two, we're out here with Noah. We've got everything out and we're just waiting. Hopefully uh, today is the day. We got good conditions, better conditions today, so. What was that in the water? <laughs> well, this happened. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh God, hooked up. You want it? Sure. Tighten down the drag, run forward, tighten the drag, and then tighten it quick, 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 quick. Set, 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 set. There it is. Tighten, tighten. Oh, he came off, he came oh. off. Damn. Oh, no, he didn't. Did he? Oh, real, real. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on. <laughs> oh God. Oh. He's on still. Oh my God. Holy smoke. There he is, there he is, holy. He's jumping, he's out there jumping. In the waves, oh my God, that's crazy. Oh, he spit it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't, oh God, I thought he spit it. Oh my God, that, oh, he cut it, oh. Damn, he cut it. That was a big one, dude, God. He jumped like he jumped and spun and he cut it. Yeah, I felt it right when it broke. I'm putting 400. Yeah. There's a whale out there. I'm gonna put an arrow. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, look, it's a whale. That's crazy. That is nuts, dude. Wow, I think he's on. Is he on? Let's go find out. What, bro? Look at that. It's a freaking whale. Oh my God. Yo, that's crazy. Wow. Look at that. Well, Noah decided it was a uh, good idea to get in the water that we're fishing for sharks, swim halfway out, and drop his bait that way <laughs> this man is crazy what a cast all right we're hooked we had to run over here to the pole we finally got one hooked all right so basically run down tighten it, let him run let him run yeah, he's gone. All right, lift the rod up. Run down, tighten the drag real quick, go real quick. Tight, tight, tight. There you go. Okay, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's out there. Look, 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 he's out there. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, we're on. Oh, he broke me fing off, dude. Oh. Oh. Break you off. Is that four? No. I felt it snap. Really? Yeah. What do you break? I don't know. Probably got above the 400. Oh, there he is. Yeah. He's got the hook in his mouth, I bet. He, he wrapped it perfectly. Look, right here. He, no, he didn't. He broke the mono. Yeah. Dude. Well, we know they're here. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. I'm 0 for 2 today. <laughs> 0 for freaking 2. That's tough. Shark fishing is a lot harder than it seems. You can't just throw bait out and 
and get eaten. It's this shit's tough. We haven't stopped. Well, we're uh, back at the first original spot that we were at earlier this morning, and it's been tough. It's been really, really tough. We've hooked uh, three total sharks today. Like I've hooked three, and it just it is what it is. They keep spinning. When when you hook them, they'll spin and they'll their tail will slap the line. It'll just split that line right in half. Uh, other than that, we're using like steel leaders. I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like really quick. You guys can see that, I guess. We got like steel leaders and five ounce weights trying to get it out in the surf. Anyways, it's been tough. It is what it is. We're gonna be out here for another 30 minutes or so. I had a random question for you guys though. Have you guys ever found a seashell on the beach and was like, damn, I wonder how old that is. I wonder how long that's been around this earth. This thing's gotta be like a million years old. Or am I just crazy? And that is going to wrap this video up. It's very unfortunate that I was not able to actually land a shark. We did get on him. It took us two days, but we finally found him. We finally got on him. Uh, managed to get a couple bites, a couple good hookups. And, I mean, it's a shark. Everybody knows shark teeth are they're very sharp. So, Cut right through our 130-pound uh, our mono. It's crazy when you think about that. It's 130 pounds. We were using 130-pound line, 400-pound uh, line. I think like 80 pound braid, I believe it was 80 or 100 pound braid, and uh, like steel leaders and all that stuff, and sharks are still able to cut through it. So it's kind of like a, uh, you really gotta know how to fish for these sharks. You really have to finesse them. Uh, I believe the two that I lost were completely, due, especially the last one that I lost, uh, the second one, it was completely on me. It was completely on me. I tightened the drag way, way, way too tight. And I think you're supposed to just be able to like, you're supposed to just fight those fish a little longer. You're supposed to be able to just like kind of let them wear themselves out. But anyways, we'll figure it out as we go. I promise you guys in the next month, in the next 30 days, we will have a shark landed on the beach. I guarantee it. Uh, well, I don't say I guarantee it because I don't like to guarantee anything, but that is going to be my main goal. And I want to share the journey with you guys. I want to I want to put a freaking shark on the beach. I want to catch a freaking shark. And if any of you guys come down to Florida in the next month or so, hit me up, shoot me a DM on Instagram, and uh, I'll bring you guys when I go shark fishing. I'll bring you out. Just uh, let me know, and we'll try to we'll make it a big thing if y'all want to. We'll just do a beach shark fishing trip. Uh, but anyways, thanks again for watching. Thanks for all the love and support. I uh, look forward to sharing with you guys a shark on the beach very soon. And we'll catch y'all next time.